Hey everyone, welcome to the Kentico Rocks podcast, the podcast about everything Kentico, Kentico Cloud, and even a little .NET and Azure in there. This is actually episode number 22, and a special episode, if you will, because it's not hosted just by myself, it's hosted by almost all of the Kentico MVPs in the world. Say hey, boys. Hey, 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 hey boys. Guys. Cool. So you might be wondering who that group is. We're going to do some quick intros, just because this is a special first time we've been doing this go around the room and actually we're in the same room for once which is pretty cool because we're from everywhere in the world just about uh, we're missing our colleague in uh, Australia but hey that's his fault for leaving early uh, but let's do the intros uh, Trevor why don't you lead us off sure my name is Trevor Fass I work for Harlan Business Systems in uh, Wisconsin United States and I've been a Kennedy MVP for two years second summit Hi, I'm Matt Neild. Uh, I'm an MVP from the UK. work for a company called Ridgeway uh, in Oxfordshire. I've been MVP. This is my third summit now. So, yeah, it's all good. Hi, I'm Jeroen Fuerst from the Netherlands, a city called Breda and a company called TrueLime. And I've been a Kentico MVP since 2010. And I forgot how many summits there were, but <laughs> they're quite good. <laughs> Always. Hi, folks. Uh, Michael Kincaid. I'm the CTO at Reason One in Toronto, Canada, also based in Charleston. And how long have I been an MVP for? Good night, like four, four, four years. Yeah, yeah four like years. That. So, yeah. yep, really enjoying it. Everyone, I'm Brendan Karen from Karen Development. I've in the U.S. from Wisconsin, a small little town called Sparta, and I've uh, been an MVP for about four years as well. Hi, Dave Kluze from the Netherlands, uh, Imakna, based in Amsterdam, and I've been an MVP for three, four years somewhere. Yeah, I think so. Hi guys, I'm Elesh Mistry from a company called MMG Digital in the UK. I don't know how long I've been an MVP for, but I love it. Many years, <laughs> many years. <laughs> well, so that's it. And of course, this is myself, Brian McKeever, the normal host of the podcast. You may know me, uh, so I'm not going to introduce myself. It's uh, an interesting morning for us. Obviously, we're here together. We're, we're, we're actually in Kentico's headquarters in Brno, Czech Republic, because we're for the MVP Summit. We've been here for about a week, and it's a special week for us, so we thought we'd share a little bit about yeah. what that week means, um, and then wrap up with some other fun things, and uh, just kind of have a little bit of a fun conversation. So, guys, what what do you think? Um, uh, you know, For those of you who've been to many MVP summits, what's it all about? What's the point? What's the purpose? Why are we all here? Getting inspired, I would say that. Seeing a little bit under the hood, where they're working on getting feedback from the from us, as uh, you know, the, the guys that do implementations, yeah, make sure that they get uh, on top of yeah, the, the latest things that we're running into. And yep. I think that's yeah. a pretty important part of it. Unrestricted access to all levels <laughs> of Kentico. It, it really is fantastic. We're here in the office. We can talk to anybody from any department. We can brainstorm on ideas. So, you know, it's a really intensive week where we can see where their roadmap is and we can give them some of the insight from our agencies as well. Yeah, I think I like it in the sense that there's some, if you've got like a query on support, just work up, walk over to their door, knock on them, speak to them, say hello, and solve the problem. I think what's really cool is that Kenneco has been very open about, even about like talking about their competition, saying where they need to improve on, and it's great to see that feedback that really they're not just a company that says we're going to do it our way even if it's not the best way but they're really looking for that feedback to make sure that they are on the right track to enable all of us so it's awesome to get that interaction I agree it, it, so the, the fun thing is there's value for us as MVPs and there's value from from Kentico's standpoint as well because yeah. they get to hear what it's like working in the field with their products which they love uh, and we're happy to give that to them the good and the bad which is all mostly good but one of my favorite parts is the fact that we get kind of behind the scenes knowledge into the vision and the roadmap and where things are going with Kentico Cloud and Kentico EMS. Um, there's obviously a big release coming out in like, I don't know, almost two weeks, like Service Pack 1 yep. for 12. Anyone excited about Service Pack 1 for EMS? Yeah. Super excited. So good. Yeah. yeah. What's the, what's the favorite feature, Trevor? So I'm just excited that um, they really listened to a couple of the feedback, like when we um, were asking about what features were missing in Kentico 12. They listen, you know, we got the properties on the sections now, so you can actually add properties to that. Um, templates they have, so you actually can do uh, page templates and uh, 
page builder templates, which is awesome. And of course, the URL is was huge that uh, people with all their SEO URLs that they want to do, they incorporated all those things in there in the service pack, which is phenomenal. So I'm super excited mm -hmm. that really took out the big hurdles. Yeah, I agree. And that, actually, that was kind of like day one of the summit for us. We, we talked all about EMS. We talked about service pack. We talked about maybe what's coming next in Kansco 2020. Mm -hmm. I'm thrilled to hear that they're really working on .NET standard support, so we can kind of get to yeah. .NET Core. Mm -hmm. Anyone else think that's kind of cool? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I excited to see that happening. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And that's what, the nice thing about the summit is like each day we have a special focus. Uh, so in case um, uh, you know, just to make sense for the people at home, day one we're talking about EMS as we said. Mm -hmm. Day two we talked about all kinds of cloud. Day three we got to talk to Community. 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 Yeah, that was that was really lots of insight into what they're doing there on mm -hmm. GitHub. Some like if you're not aware, go to Kentucky's GitHub page. There's some excellent projects there. They're doing a lot of really cool stuff uh, with Kentucky Cloud. And then what we do in the afternoon, guys? Hackathon. Hack 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 yeah, yeah, I think that was my favorite part of the afternoon. We got all grouped together in two separate groups and got to build some pretty cool stuff. Well, most of us, right? Some of us had some challenges. And yeah, we got yeah, so close. Yeah, some yeah, of you yeah, didn't so quite close. Yeah. finish. And but you can, you know, you can piece together the demo and make it seem like it worked right. in, yeah, in yeah, our yeah. case. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and then day four was marketing, marketing mark. vision. Marketing vision. Yep. Very cool to see where some of the things are going with the Kentico brand. And then it ends up on day five with a kind of miscellaneous, just all the other departments. I think we had documentation training. Yeah. Customer yep. success. Customer success. That was good. Yeah. 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 One one huge thing with with documentation training actually was we learned that uh, Hansa was working on a pretty cool new project. Anybody remember mm -hmm. what that project was? Yeah, the identity stuff. So if anybody has uh, taken the new developer MVC training, which is great, so it starts off with essentials, and then we have uh, new courses on Page Builder. Uh, Hans is now working on identity as well, so like users, roles, authentication. So that that course, the developer training, I think, is, is a is a great starter for anybody new to, to can't go MVC. And I think you said there's a, there's a few more in the pipeline as well. So yeah. e-commerce, yeah. there's, there's going to be some, some content modules for that as well. So and marketing, I think. Yeah. And honestly, the, the, <laughs> there's so much that happened, it's kind of ridiculous. Um, and all the days kind of blur together. And I actually don't want to forget probably one of the, the, the days that was most impressive for me, which was actually day two with Kentico Cloud. Yeah, yeah I agree. Yeah. I agree. We've got so much information from the cloud team. Is like um, some things that we didn't know, some things we got to contribute towards, um, and the vision as well, and the, and the different departments within Kentico Cloud as well. I, you know, normally you'd assume it may be a couple of people, but actually they've got split departments with their information and what they yeah. want us feedback. So, you know, definitely the community needs to contribute towards that. Yeah, they're really driving innovation with the product. Anyone have a favorite thing that? Uh, yeah. I like the off. templates. The templates is pretty cool. Yeah, um, that you can get get access to them right now, I believe, right? They're online. They kind of go cloud sure templates. Are. And they showcase not only starter kind of boilerplates for different things, but they use different technologies. So it won't be like a .NET, it won't be like a Gatsby yeah. or whatever. And they're actually trying to get it where you can submit yeah. your own templates, which is pretty sweet. Yeah, I um, really love the, 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 the option to have those tabs within the uh, content elements. So you can groups. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, that was really that was uh, awesome. yeah. one thing uh, I'm eager to put my hands on. I think, didn't they release that this week I while we were here? Thursday, right? Yeah. Isn't, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. isn't that cool? They actually had a release yeah. while we were in the building. Yeah. It's like we almost had a small piece of that release. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I may be stretching that a little bit. I really like yeah. the, the focus um, on on personas like content strategists. So another thing that just came out is the content calendar. I think that's you know putting mm -hmm. in more features to yeah. plan your content, schedule your content. I think that's great, given the overall focus of it really being you know content as a service. Yeah, right? definitely. Like right. you can feed back on those things. So content groups already tried that out, awesome feature, and fed back to the team and said, can we change this and that? And then they were really happy for that feedback. So mm -hmm. yeah, it's great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So then, you know, we can talk a little bit about the community too, I think, for, for day three, uh, just because I personally learned that there's even more out there in GitHub than I remembered like a couple of weeks or months ago. It seems like mm -hmm. there, I think they were up to like 60 yeah. different repositories under yeah, the yeah, Kentico yeah. GitHub account. Yeah, there's yeah. over 60 of them up there. Yeah. So, I mean, any kind of getting started guide that you need for the technology of your choice pretty much is there. And that's the focus. That's the awesome that they're focusing on using GitHub, using community repositories, trying to build the interaction. So if you have been dabbling with Kentico, 
um, and you want to contribute to find a way, I mean, they are really trying to focus on getting that, that base together where people are passionate about, you know, doing your forks, doing your pull requests, contributing and building up, you know, adding your own repos and stuff. Um, so it's cool to see that they're not just like, we're the developers, you guys use it, but more we want to work with you to, to build up yeah. those things. And they've been pretty prolific themselves. Like the custom elements hasn't been out for too long. Right. And this Wednesday, whenever we were we were doing the hackathon, you know, they, they showed us the dev kit that they've built just for custom URLs, which gives you a nice mm -hmm. little local sandbox, a whole lot of other plumbing as well. So there's there's really good starter uh, projects or templates for developers getting into new features. Yeah, I, I like that you could uh, create your element on base and host it on your local host mm. and then just test it out yeah, before you have to push it out. And maybe we should remind everyone, what, what's what's the reason why we might use custom elements in Kentico Cloud? Custom form controls. You can get your own piece of the UI. So if you need to have a form control that yeah. integrates with some other back office system or browse YouTube videos, connect to back office, then you can build that out. And you can host it on GitHub for other people who might have the same requirements on their project as well. Nice. It's mm -hmm. a way for you to extend the cloud. Right, and yeah. integrate with what you need to, which is yeah. what we wanted, I think, as developers. Yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. Yeah. It really goes as part of the headless story of being content as a service. It's a microservice that you can use and join with other tools. Yeah. I like the addition of that you can actually read other fields. Yeah, it wasn't that's in, in the first version, but they added that. Mm -hmm. So now you can actually create some more rich interactive uh, functionality. Uh, which we did in the hackathon. I think uh, some of you uh, worked with some AI services to, you know, uh, detect uh, the contents that was put in one field and do some cool stuff with it. And yep. yeah, yeah, we tried a different, a couple different mm -hmm. uh, AI engines for text analysts, sentiment analysts, yeah. analysis. Although yeah. it wasn't as cool as your Pong plugin. Mm -hmm. for yeah, the Pong. that was <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I'm assuming you're making that public, right? Yeah, <laughs> keep an eye out for the Pong game. Cool, cool. Yeah. I'll definitely work on that. <laughs> so obviously the summit has a lot of value. Uh, we learn all these things, uh, but one of the ways you get to the summit is actually by being an MVP. And I think we want to talk just a minute or two. You know, what 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 do you guys think? Like, what's your favorite part of the MVP program, and 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 how you got here? And maybe we should tell everyone, you know, if they're interested, here's the things you need to do. I'm gonna start with Brennan. Put him on the spot. So I was interested in becoming an MVP back in 2012 when I actually met Brian McGeever. Met him over in Denver, and you know it was pretty interesting to see a young guy then talk about, <laughs> talk about <laughs> Kentico. Ouch! Talk about Kentico with all that passion, and and I was you know just a couple years into Kentico and, and pretty excited about it. So you know I. I tell him I wanted to be like him and, and do things like he did. But, you know, it just the, the activities in the community and, and following what uh, I love to do is, is kind of helped me get here. So, um, I don't know, I'm, I'm just excited to be here and, and kind of be in a room full of uh, gentlemen who know exactly what they're doing. Gentlemen, is a strong yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we are. We do yeah, need diversity in this group. It's a. It's it's a good time. Uh, I get to learn a lot in this week and throughout the year for our during our regular meetings. For me, it's been awesome to uh, be able to get that back and forth between Kentucky. I mean, we have access to some of the project managers and things that they can bounce ideas off of us. We can provide feedback. Um, and that's at a lot of value because, you know, we want to see the product succeed. You know, we are in the field a lot. We know what things work well, what don't, what doesn't work well. And just, it's nice to be able to provide it to I think you're really contributing to, to grow this product and make it even stronger. <clears throat> and the summit rocks. You know? that's, that's probably a very big perk. Yeah. Combined with that, we just love to help other people be as good. And use can to go to the full yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. yeah, I think whenever so whenever to get into the program or be considered for it, um, I'd started to do some blog posts, but I really like just doing videos for online learning. So I started to crank out some of that content and started to do more talking at Kentico. So I think really getting into the program, it's about trying to support the community, but also trying to promote the platform as well. So if you're using Kentico today, you're really interested in it, and you're in a situation where you're helping out people in your own company, 
you probably have really good content you can start to write up in whatever form makes sense for you you know mm -hmm. like maybe it's a podcast maybe it's a video maybe it's a blog post but you know get that stuff out there help the community because we'd certainly love to have more people in the in the mvp program because yeah. yeah. it's like people work with kentico every day day to day that's their you know job um and the ability there is the fact that you can actually you know utilize that and promote that with more and more and um that's why i love you know joining the program is the fact that i was so passionate about kentico and i still am and now we've got kentico and kentico cloud as yeah. well so you've got two different avenues that you can focus on um and then you get to provide back to the community we're just sharing the things that you've learned that other people can probably fall into the same situation it's yeah. like super satisfying when you write that one blog post and you've you've solved a problem that you had or an issue that you had or, or just, just some kind of scenario that you wanted to work through and you, you, you blog about that and you get some good feedback from just yeah. some guy or someone else in the community again this is really helpful that helped me so much thank you it's, that is so satisfying yeah I, I would agree on that if I look back at uh, 2010 when I first started and noticed that people were not aware of things they could do with Kentico and just make sure that they were aware of that and sharing some ideas that's that's one of the main reasons I ever went on this road. Mm. So. Yep. Yep. Well, I'll tell you what, guys, um, the last part of the summer hasn't happened yet, and it's going to happen <laughs> about 14 minutes from now, so we're going to have to wrap this up, Yep. because we got to get on a bus <laughs> to a party, um, which is also part of the week yeah. activities. We should finish these drinks, probably. We probably should. Are we meant to mention that? Oh. I think we're allowed to mention okay. that. So, yeah. Water, right? Water. Uh, yeah, water. Yeah. water. 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 Uh, yeah. I, I seem to have finished mine already. <laughs> um, but I do, I want to thank you all for being a part of the podcast as Brendan pours us our next round. Um, you know, if anyone needs to get a hold of any of the MVPs, there's an easy place to find it at the Kentico.com website. It's Kentico.com slash company slash MVP, I think, mm -hmm. or it's in the menu in that area. But of course, if you need to get a hold of us, uh, I'll post some comments or some contact info at the bottom of the blog post that hosts this, this episode of the podcast. And um, with that... I think we should probably end with the traditional Czech word for cheers. Which is? Cheers. Thanks, everyone. Cheers. Thanks. Cheers.